This came to light really when I was reviewing the project for the request for certificate. They had come in to close out the um, the order of conditions for the 21 East Street property, which is obviously that large um, apartment complex, uh, the old Balfour site. And while I was conducting an inspection for that, um, we discovered in the back there had been some unauthorized work um, to provide electrical service to this new sign. Unfortunately, the trench for the electrical went right through the bioretention area. When I reached out to the developer, he was actually unaware of the work. It was done by the utility uh, contractor. But this is, you know, the edge of pavement, and then here's your bioretention, and this is the spoils from the trench, but um, essentially it cut through the side of the retention area, and obviously this is you know, it's lined, it's, it has a soil composition that's um, important for the integrity of the system and the vegetation. So it was fully established and functioning, and then they did this. So um, that obviously needs to be rectified before we move forward with any certificate of compliance. So they have to come back to you with a plan because it's in riverfront area. Um, you know, the enforcement order will authorize them to do the work itself once you approve a plan but obviously they need to restore the retention area um, put it back the way it was and then we need some type of certification from an engineer that it, it you know it was restored in accordance with the original approvals and if they do decide to leave this electrical service that that won't compromise the integrity of the system either. my concern would be making sure there's not migration of water you know if, if there was a certain soil type barrier that was part of the basin um if that was compromised in any way I'd, I'd hate to see subsurface migration and erosion along this trenched line or along the utility lines um leading to, to long-term i guess erosion of the site because of the the piping so the only other thing is do we want to give them a timeline or yesterday. i mean i think they need a timeline but yesterday <laughs> yesterday <laughs> I think having a timeline a, a deadline for them to completing the work is gonna push them to have to get the plan in sooner rather than later I okay. think that that's kind of the the goal that we want we have a meeting September 12th I, I mean I think that that's not quite 30 days from now but that's mm -hmm. 27 28 days from now mm -hmm. I think that that they should be aiming for that and at, at the very least having a status update for us at that meeting with that I will Entertain a motion to issue the enforcement order for 21 East Street, SC number 2430906, requiring submittal of a professionally prepared plan to restore the bioretention basin to be reviewed by the consulting engineer and approved by the conservation administrator. Um, and upon completion of restoration, the applicant shall submit an as-built plan and letter from a civil engineer documenting the basin is functioning as designed, and that this work shall be completed within 30 days by September 14th uh, with a status, an anticipated status update for the September 12th meeting. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. I will entertain a motion to deny the request for certificate of compliance for 21 East Street, SC number 2430896. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed, all those abstaining, is unanimous. I will entertain a motion to deny the request for certificate of compliance for 21 East Street, SC number 2430906. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed, all those abstaining, is unanimous.